These kinds of chart questions are on both the current old version of the SAT and the new digital version. Uh, so far, they're pretty easy on the new version, but we always need to think of the same trap, which is if we're going to create a fraction to represent this probability, what is the bottom number? The bottom number, the denominator, is always where things get hard. So just when you're reading the question, think about that. What are we choosing out of? If one of these tiles is selected at random, what is the probability of selecting a red tile? Well, they're talking about all the tiles. So we can use 100, which is the thing that they list as the total. However, I will say, fair warning, most of the time when the SAT asks questions like this, we are not using the total. We are using some other piece, like maybe just the blue tiles or just the Pentagon tiles. I don't know. This is a rare exception where there isn't really a twist. We can just go with the overall total, but you still need to think about it and think about the possibility of a twist because it's very common. So with that said, now we can work on the easier part, which is the top. They want to know uh, what is the probability of selecting a red tile. So there are a total of uh, 30 red tiles. Maybe this is where the, the twist is. Um, so that's 30 out of 100. You, uh, I believe that's not bubble. You can't bubble that. You're going to run out of spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think you can only bubble five spaces for positive numbers. But it does say express your an answer as a decimal, so we can easily do that. If you have your calculator, feel free to just do 30 divided by 100. But to be quite honest, you really should know that 30 divided by 100 is 0.3. Those are the kinds of decimal conversions you need to have memorized. Uh, it's just cross out the zeros and then it's three tenths. And that's what that is, three tenths. So uh, you have the calculator, but if you don't know that kind of conversion with decimals, you got other problems that are going to crop up in math and other places. So that's the thing to memorize.